Hey guys, welcome back. I finally have the review of Max Viva Glam Rihanna. Normally they're numbers, but this is Rihanna, honey, so she doesn't need a number. She is. So this is Viva Glam Rihanna. Anyway, so the packaging is beautiful. It has this matte velvety uh, finish, just, just gorgeous. It just really pops out. Just, oh, it's amazing. I just, ugh. I'm just like speechless. It's so beautiful. Anyways, this is really, really, really beautiful packaging. I just had to say that. But um, it has black in the inside. And um, this color is beautiful. It has their signature along here as well. So can we just say that Rihanna and Mac have are like a match made in heaven. And whatever partnership they have going on, it's just, it's working out. Because they just are giving her just you know everything and the products that they've put out with her have just really been pretty amazing most of them not all of it but most of it has been really really great um new innovative stuff and they have just given her everything she wants apparently because she can just sign her name on stuff and they're just putting it all over there um packaging which is great i like it uh, i think certain people have certain issues and this is one of them so the packaging is great, and the color is also great. I like the lipstick more than I like the lip glass, but I think lip glass is just kind of lip glass. And um, there's only, like, I don't know, for some reason I feel like there's, uh, it's just one finish. You have lip glass, and that's all you're going to get out of it. And it could be either cream or, you know, glittery or shimmery but other than that, you're kind of limited to, like, the finish. But with lipsticks, you can go matte to super shine and with that being said this one is a metallic um finish if you remember nudes and, and metallics it reminds me of that um the finish it's a very interesting red it's 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 red but it has a bit of a pinkish tone to me and um but it's still deep and it's not super like bright but it is a, a, a great red color the metallic finish i like as well um, but I was wearing another color from Nudes and Metallics, and that's when it clicked for me. I was like, oh, this is just like when they came out with Nudes and Metallics. Because the Metallics that they came out with in that um, line, which is basically a frost, but it's not because the darker colors don't come off like frosty like light colors do. It's just a gorgeous metallic finish, and it's beautiful. Um, the lip glass is gorgeous as well. Paired together, both of them are just beautiful. Um, this one you can wear by itself. It, it does have a good bit of pigmentation. and But together, they're beautiful. But alone, the lipstick is just as amazing. Um, I've worn it a few times and I love it. And so I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, pretty unique to me. I think, I don't think I have anything necessarily like it. I could combine some things. I could manipulate some things to get that metallic finish out of it. But other than that, I think it is definitely a, a pretty unique color as far as my collection goes. And I have a lot of lipsticks. So I'm pretty sure that I haven't seen anything super similar in maybe at least the last year to two years of lipsticks um, that I can think of. Anyway, so I just wanted to come and give you my thoughts on the product and let you know how I felt about it. And I hope you guys go out and pick it out. Obviously, it's just for a good cost as well. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, guys. See you next video.